hey leo thank you so much for tuning in with me for this weekly message for the week of october 28th let's get your present energy what is leo present energy spirit please show us leo present energy we have the queen of cups show us more on leo present energy show us more on the queen of cups queen of cups cancer energy or um could be a water sign we have a uh, clarify with the king of wands okay queen of cups and the king of wands and the present energy water and fire let's get more on this uh king of wands energy on the present energy what's going on the leo the hangman stuck <laughs> all right you glued together that's what this is about Someone could be dealing with a Pisces. Let's get the desires. Leo desires. What is Leo desires? What is Leo desires? Not the devil. Okay. Show us more on the devil. You are desiring for someone to be obsessed over you. <laughs> Show us more on the devil for Leo. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, Leo, it looked like you're desiring to... Um, either you could have been dealing with the Capricorn, too, with the devil here. But it looked like you're desiring to walk away from, from a toxic situation. Because the present energy is showing, like, stuck like glue. Like, but it's due to your hands being tied. You don't know what to do. You can't move. You know, it's stagnant. But you're desiring to free yourself. All right, what would be helpful for Leo? What would be helpful for Leo? Um, release all uh, animosity, release all anger or um, conflict, release the tit for tat, wanting to um, win by any means. Release that, they're saying, with the five of swords in reverse. That would be helpful for you at this time, pertaining to this message. What is Leo? Obstacle. Show us the obstacle for Leo. The obstacle is moving forward, moving on. Eight of Wands, uh, the chariot, taking flight, taking a train, bus, plane, however this is. But it's like you, it's, it's the obstacle, the challenge is you moving forward. But they're telling you what will help you, which is releasing that, releasing... Um, the mental anguish, re releasing uh, the thoughts of, you know, trying to uh, get one over or trying to come out on top or win, uh, like, just release that. Release any pettiness, release any drama, release any, uh, any conflict, release that. Near future, show us the near future. Like, oh, you did this to me, I'm going to do this to you. No, because it's just going to cause more problems. Let that person go through their karma, their problems. You don't build that karma, those problems onto you. You just go ahead and let it go. Um, show us the near future for Leo. Near future. The near future. You have the lovers and the magician. You could definitely be dealing with the Gemini. Okay, with both of those here or Virgo. Um, and the near future look like you're going to be manifesting another lover. Or another lover will be manifesting you. Show us more with the magician and the lovers for the near future. The king of pentacles, it could be a Virgo. Or a Virgo with Gemini placements. Or it could be a Gemini with Virgo placements. Take it however it resonates. Someone could have earth placements towards Virgo or Capricorn. Um. Yeah, someone is manifesting... To recover a connection with you, or this is you in a near future uh, manifesting this with someone. Yeah, someone definitely want a renewal with the judgment showing at the bottom of the deck. So this could be with this could be um I'm not I'm not getting with this lover. This could be so someone you're trying to walk away from, you feel stuck to. Um, you're trying to free yourself from that situation so you can go into Brother, I mean, you may know of this connection in the near future. I mean, near is very near. Like, it's not many months down the line. This is near within a matter of a month 
or so it could be but um this is so i feel like this is someone that you already know that you're manifesting uh or they're manifesting you but in order to get to that you have to release this so that's what that's what's going on in this reading this week i mean you like uh please let me go <laughs> they like or y'all need to let each other go it's like it's an obsession with both or um an addiction but you're desiring to walk away show us a message here show us a message here for leo 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 spirit Cupid's arrow, have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting hesitation. Yeah, that's in the near future, as mentioned. What else for Leo? The sword and the rose, clarity, true. Yes, um, revelation. And you have protection and power. All right, and what else for Leo? Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted friendship. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you just gotta, your whole reading is about releasing the old, preparing yourself for the new. Not even preparing, it's like I'm already prepared. I'm just trying to get out. I'm all right, I'm just trying to get out of this. Once I'm out of this, then, you know, I'm good to go. <laughs> we can go ahead and move forward. All right, I just have to because we are in a week of Halloween. Y'all reading is super short. Because it's straight to the point, though. It's so straight to the point. <laughs> That's how you know you're ready. <laughs> you ready. Like, get me out of this situation. I'm ready to go. Show us a message. This could be with a baby mother you're in a connection with or a baby father. Someone could be a Pisces or a Cancer or a, a Aries Leo Sagittarius, Capricorn energy. Someone could be trying to get to a Virgo or a Gemini or towards Virgo Capricorn. Show us more. Or it could be a cancer. If you leave in a cancer, it looks like you're going towards another cancer. Take it however it resonates. But there's a renewal here for you and someone. Heavy on the Gemini and Virgo, though. For the newer uh, connection. Or the renewal of a connection. Any messages here, spirit? I don't feel like you have much here. Because any for Leo... Let's get one more shuffle. Any messages for Leo Spirit, please show. Any messages? Nope, this deck is saying nope. Nope, nothing for you. But you got enough here. I mean, it's very, like, straightforward. Um, I do want to mention this at the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And then right after that, you got the new... I mean, a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change of mind. Exactly. That's why I said this is like a rekindle of a connection with you and someone, but someone else needs to be released. But it looked like someone could be chasing you or end up being a chaser, or you could be, however, I don't know, take it however it resonates. But I feel like a past situation needs to really, you need to really free yourself from that. Your obstacle is taking action. So if you keep, uh, that in mind, like, that's my obstacle. Okay, let me go ahead and make sure this don't remain an obstacle. Let me put action towards it. And let me release any conflict, any animosity that I have pertaining to what this person did to me. They stabbed me in the back. They did me wrong. They treated me wrong. You know what? I'm just going to let that go. So you can move forward. All right, Leo. That's all I have. I hope you um enjoyed this message. Until next time.